if you've been watching any of my videos on gut health, you've probably heard me mention the importance of polyphenols, right? Now I consider polyphenols to really be another secret weapon that nature provides us when it comes to gut health. And so in today's video, I want to share with you five ways that polyphenols improve gut health, why you need them uh, to improve uh, your gut. Hey there, I'm Dr. Hagmeyer and I want to welcome you to my channel. Uh, it's not a surprise that fruits and vegetables are really just a key part of a healthy diet. But I think one group of nutrients that often gets overlooked are polyphenols, right? Polyphenols are really responsible for giving plants their vibrant colors and they play just an absolute critical role in keeping plants healthy and really protecting them from disease. And believe it or not, there's over 500 different types of polyphenols each with its own unique set of benefits. And really one of the reasons they're so important to our gut health really comes down to their antioxidant properties. Now, antioxidants really protect our cells from the damaging effects of free radicals. Free radicals are responsible for tissue damage, for inflammation, and really for disease. Now, if you're a patient of mine, you often hear me speak of oxidative stress and why it's so damaging at the cellular level. Well, SIBO, intestinal dysbiosis, yeast overgrowth, opportunistic bacteria, all of these cause oxidative stress at that cellular level. In fact, most gut problems at the very root level involve some degree of tissue damage, some degree of inflammation, and often oxidative stress. And polyphenols help protect the gut lining and they reduce inflammation and they lower those levels of oxidative stress. Now, the next reason I recommend increasing the levels of polyphenols has to do with their prebiotic effect, right? Some people who have bacterial overgrowth, they just can't tolerate fiber and they cannot tolerate prebiotics. But certain fruits not only contain high levels of prebiotics that are very beneficial, but also have high levels of these polyphenols. And one of these polyphenols that is just great for people who have SIBO are the polyphenols that you find in concentrated pomegranate extracts and grapeseed. Not only can these polyphenols in pomegranate and grapeseed help people who are super sensitive to prebiotics because of SIBO, but concentrated pomegranate extract can increase the production of something known as butyrate, which is just a critical short chain fatty acid. And these polyphenols also increase keystone strains of commensal bacteria like lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. You see, studies also show that they can also lower calprotectin levels which is an important marker for tracking and monitoring intestinal inflammation. So the takeaway here is that polyphenols have a very powerful prebiotic effect in our gut microbiome. And if you have gut issues, one of the most common problems that we see, of course, is gut or intestinal dysbiosis. Well, here again, polyphenols can influence the composition of the gut microbiota and its diversity. Now, the difference between a healthy gut and a sick gut often comes down to diversity. A healthy gut always has greater diversity and an unhealthy gut has low diversity, meaning that there's really not many different kinds of bacterial strains that are inhabiting the gut microbiome. And polyphenols fill that gap because they help increase bacterial diversity by increasing abundance of these good beneficial bacteria and reducing the harmful ones. So that's always a good strategy, right? Crowd out bad bacteria by encouraging good bacteria to grow. And that's exactly what polyphenols do when someone has gut dysbiosis. Now, the last reason I wanna share with you in terms of why people who have gut issues should be taking polyphenol supplements and eating more supplement or eating more polyphenols really comes down to the gut barrier, right? Polyphenols help improve and strengthen our intestinal mucosal barriers. That gut barrier is a selective barrier, meaning that certain things can pass through while other things get blocked off. And again, polyphenols help strengthen that gut mucosal barrier, reducing the risk and likelihood of a leaky gut. Now, since most patients with inflammation in their GI tract or have an autoimmune disease have a, a, a leaky gut, polyphenols help with leaky gut syndrome. Now, something else worth mentioning is that there's a special relationship between polyphenols and a bacteria um, that we often check for in a stool test called acromantia. Certain polyphenols, like the ones found in pomegranates, have a very positive effect on feeding acromantia and encouraging them to grow. 
The polyphenols in grapes can also increase the abundance of this bacterial species, which also increases the function of the intestinal barrier. So as a summary, polyphenols play just a crucial role in promoting gut health. They reduce inflammation, they, they support beneficial good gut bacteria. They maintain the integrity of the gut barrier mucosal lining. They crowd out bad bacteria. They encourage good bacteria. And lastly, they increase that bacterial biodiversity. So what more could we ask for? If you like today's video, be sure you check out some of the other videos on my channel, especially the video that I did on Acromancia, which is that bacteria that polyphenols uh, have been shown to increase. Till next time, take care.